all right what's good everybody we're about to get into this reading the first one i'm about to do is actually news that happened but it's in celebrity news for some reason it's a strawberry moon's gonna happen tonight and they're testifying about this moon it now get this it took me back to the very beginning yo they're my <laughs> genesis chapter one the first verse in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the waters and god said let there be light and there was light and god saw the light that it was good and god divided the light from the darkness and god called the light day and the darkness the call he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day and god said there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and god made the firmament and the divided waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so that looks like that looks like the sky and then around us all right and god called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second the day and god said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called the seas and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb unyielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit though seed was in itself after his kind and god saw that it was good in the evening and the morning were the third day and god said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars also keep listening. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven and god cre created great wells and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind and god saw that it was good and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let the fowl multiply in the earth in the evening and the morning or the fifth day and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them right there every argument a person does about different genders and different stuff god forbids it because this is how we were created not by a big boom not by anything right there the strawberry moon in the article right there it's mocking it's mocking god's creation it gets deeper john chapter 12 starting at the 33rd this he says signifying that death he should die the to the people answered him we have heard out of the law that christ abideth forever and how sayest thou the son of man must be lifted up who is this his this son of man then jesus said unto them yet a little while is the light with you walk while ye have the light 
lest the darkness come upon you for he that walketh in the darkness knoweth not whither he goeth while he ye have light believe in the light that ye may be the children of light these things spake jesus and departed and did hide himself from them but though he had done so many miracles before them yet they believed not on him that the saying of Esaias the prophet might be fulfilled which he spake lord who hath believed our report and to whom hath the arm of the lord been revealed therefore they could not believe because that Esaias in again they didn't believe even when he was doing miracles he was proving it making things happen out of nothing no magic now people do magic it's witchcraft and sorcery and that's against god all right first peter chapter five likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder yea all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for god resisteth resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he that careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Right there, he backed up the beginning of how everything started with following up, letting them know. Things go through me, Jesus Christ says. see psalms chapter 8 starting at the first to the chief musician upon get getteth a psalm of david o lord our lord how excellent is thy name in all the earth who has set thy glory above the heavens out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy in the the avenger when i consider thy heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou has ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him for thou has made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands thou has put all things under his feet right there i told you everything's under christ's feet when you're a christ believer everything's under your foot right there he gives you the power to overstand all things he's the controller of life he is the man who tells you you can live you can die he chooses jesus christ does by scripture proven noted there's nothing against that romans chapter 13 no, starting tonight for this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day and not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chamber and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You got to put on the armor of God. You got to be for real about him. You got to really believe he'll protect you from all type of death manner. It is him, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. He can do anything. He can do anything. You got to believe. It is people's belief that makes them not understand and see it. It is him. Jesus Christ is the one. Amos chapter 5, 
starting at the fifth. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Bathsheba. For Gilgal all surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to all. Do not seek the Lord, and ye shall live with it. Yo, thank you, Jesus, right there. What did I just say? I just got done telling you he's the orator of life. He, meaning he will he, through him you live. Ye shall live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there be none to quench it. Even if he did break through, because he was mad, he'd end up killing everyone. He's God. What are you going to do to hold him back? Nothing. Right there. Leave off the riotness in the earth. Seek him that maketh the seven stars in Orion and turneth the shadow of the death into the morning and maketh the day dark with night that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name that strengtheneth he, the spoil against the strong so that the spoil shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly for as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor and ye take from him burdens of wheat ye have built houses of hewn stone but ye shall not dwell in them ye have planted pleasant vineyards but ye shall not drink wine of them right there you shall do nothing against anything that is in god's kingdom you do not put anything above his kingdom you put him number one above all things, anything. Lord Jesus Christ is above all things. You must do that. You have to by nature. That's the only way you'll make it through. You'll genuinely have joy in life. People think he's corny. No, you get joy. You're, you're very joy. Oh, man. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and Guilt going after strange flesh are set forth an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. All right, man. For there are certain men crept and unawares who were before of the old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into the lasciviousness and denying only the Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I would therefore put you in remembrance. Though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He hath, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah in the cities about them in the like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignif dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he di disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said the Lord rebuked thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally was brute beasts, and those things they corrupt themselves. You corrupt yourself when you do those things. Like when you live an alternative lifestyle, when you do things like trying to introduce, I don't know, that animal stuff. I don't know, <laughs> when you do that, you cause this stuff to come on you doubly harder. Because you're going directly against his word. And you can't hide that sin from God. He knows it. And you, people who, who's living openly in your sin, he's after you hardest. Psalms chapter 19, start at the first. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament, sure. How can I make this up? Still talking about firmaments on separate things. Not search together. The firmament, sure, his handiwork. Day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night shew of knowledge. There is no speech nor language. Where their voice is not heard, their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Through Jesus Christ, you can do all things. He's the Son of Man. 
Jesus Christ. He's the one right there. Remember, the tabernacle was worshipped by everyone before Christ came. All nations worship this. Now they're saying for the tabernacle, you're seeing it switch out right there to the Son of Man. He's calling it out. They know. They know. Look, the part in the verse 4. Their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. And them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Don't worship the creation. You worship in the sun, moon, and stars. Stop. Christ, Jesus Christ. He right there is granting the sun its brightness. So why would you worship the sun? Right there. Jesus Christ. Right in front of you. He's the one who worship, yo. He's the one you worship by scripture. How, how is this, Ma? And they're talking about a strawberry moon. Come on, yo. Come on. All right, man. I got the crux here. All right. Deuteronomy. Chapter 11, starting at the 27th, a blessing. If ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse. If ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way, which I command you this day, to go after other gods, which ye have not known, and it shall come to pass, when the Lord thy God hath brought thee in unto the land, whither thou goest to possess it that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim and the curse upon Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side, Jordan, by the way where the sun goeth down in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the campaign over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Moray? For ye shall pass over Jordan to go and to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you, and ye shall possess it and dwell therein. And ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgment which I set before you this day. Right there. Anywhere you go. Your movement. Everything. It's because of Christ. He allowed them to be in the land. He allows you to exist in the place you're at. He allows you to exist in your house. He allows you to do whatever you're doing. Anything you're doing. Everything you're doing. Anything you want to do. He allows it. If it were not for him, you wouldn't be able to do anything. He gave them a bunch of land out of nowhere with nothing at it. See what with the devil. He said, bow down and worship me and these things I will offer you when he tried to tempt Jesus at the Mount Sinai. We knew that. Okay. So when he said that to him, now we're looking at a versatile set where the person is being tempted that way. But it's not temptation. It's freely given. It's given in free faith. It's given in love. Right there. Right there. Don't play with it. This is the love of Jesus Christ, yo. He gives you entire kingdoms out of nowhere. Without anything required. Giving nothing. That's what they're talking about, this strawberry moon. How can this be mocked, yo? This was a quick breakdown. You guys got to check it out. I did back to the celebrity joints. All right.